we know that the uh, thought about that one day Taliban will take the control of Kabul. Uh, sometime we were speaking, but uh, Ramesh was telling me, don't worry, they, they cannot come to Kabul. But one day when in the morning we went to office, we were together and I said, uh, today everywhere look different. And at 10, uh, my brother called that Taliban camp to where we live. And we said, no, 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 it's impossible. They, uh, and my brother said, yeah, of course, they, they came to Kabul. Then we left the uh, office and we went home. And we have never thought that they can change our life like this, that we can uh, face um, that day too. We, we would be compelled to leave our country. Nilofar Bayat, the captain of Afghanistan's women wheelchair basketball team, and her husband say they are worried about their families back home after they both arrived in Spain on Friday. Um, yesterday, uh, I'm trying to go out of my country. Unfortunately, it's, um, I have to. I have to leave because there is no way for me and there is no future for me and for my husband to stay here. Nilofar said in a recent video recorded by her in Kabul before she fled to the airport where she stayed for two days, braving difficult conditions, beating and gunshots. I, I cried a lot. Because I asked it, and uh, because still Taliban are shooting around, and it's too difficult. They are shouting. If they don't uh, hear what we say, uh, we have a very difficult time. But now, fortunately, uh, I'm here with Ramesh and just sitting, and we are waiting uh, to come here. I hope to see you all uh, very soon. And we are here after too many difficult time to enter. And now we are waiting for flight. No, to We lost the luggage, everything we had. But fortunately, we found the way to go to the military gate. Beat 28 said as she stood next to her husband, Ramesh Negzai. 27 in a leafy street in Bilbao, northern Spain. Uh, we came with a military uh, plane. It was for the first time for us that we could fly with a military plane, <laughs> airplane. Yeah, uh, it was there was uh, some difficulties that we had. We were at, uh, about two days and two nights in the airport, Kabul airport. That it was the uh, toughest day. It was too worse. To, because entering to Kabul airport was not easy. It was really dangerous for everyone. It was really tough. That's why when we were trying to enter, there was a lot of Taliban and they were not allowing us to go and they were shooting around when uh, they were beating us and he beat David Ramesh and me and I scared a lot. And we lost the luggage, everything that we had. But fortunately, fortunately, we could find a way to go to uh, from the gate of military and um, army of uh, Spain could help us. And uh, we, they took us to Dubai. Then we came to uh, Madrid. At the age of two, Nilofar's family house in Kabul was hit by a rocket, injuring her spinal cord. Her brother was killed. Beat's husband was also injured by a mine. Despite the adversity Nilofar had faced throughout her life, she describes the days spent at Kabul airport and some of the worst she has experienced. Nilofar, who arrived in Tarakhandardo's airbase, with 100 other refugees before heading to Bilbao, said she could not live under the Taliban, which she fears will reverse all the achievements the country has made during the past 20 years. She has been offered a chance to play for a wheelchair basketball team in northern Spain city, where the couple will live. Nilofar say she fears for the future of Afghanistan under the Taliban. Really, every time we sit together, just we speak about family. That how how can we help them and how can uh, we make them safe? 
uh, it's not easy in Afghanistan, but I hope uh, we can do something for them and help them. Um, I, I, I don't know how to say that, how worried we are about them and their life, but we know they are, uh, they are not safe, they are in danger. All of Afghanistan are like this, but um, those families that they have uh, famous people, uh, they are most in danger because Taliban now uh, started to check every home to find something to um, uh, to yeah to ask them like if you have someone uh, be journalist, someone working with the government, someone be in military or someone be uh, activist, uh, or you have a girl that the, he she was active or she was working outside, uh, they wanna uh, just find something from them home and then they punish. It's really hard. And we both are very worried about our family.